Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelia Akim that's preached the word and all truth and sincerity, along with the Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of outside goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible? So this is Billy Yakal, a month back to the lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled, We Have to Grow in the Truth. I was going to go on some precepts. And uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you few sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, because the scriptures speak about, you know, abounding or growing in the truth, man. You know, because we can't be on the same level as we as we were when we first came in the truth. You know, we have to be, um, grow, you know, day by day. You know, and we have to grow as a tree. You know, because one thing about a tree, you know, it takes time. You know, but eventually it will grow, you know, started from this little seed to a, a huge tree, you know, and that's how we're supposed to, that's how our faith is supposed to be um, in the truth, you know. So I just go into a lesson regarding the topic and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you know. Now I'm going to start off with the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 1. And it reads, Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Yahweh Shai, that as you have received of us, how ye ought to walk and to please Yahweh, so you will abound more and more. Right, man. So at the end of the day, we have to walk to please Yahweh by Shimon Shai by way of our works. You know, because, you know, we have to make this truth our first priority, you know, and putting the Lord first, you know, because... Remember, the Lord said he's a jealous God. So if we're put, if we have any influence um, outside the truth that's causing us to put our, our energy more into that rather than the Lord, then the Lord can get, uh, is jealous of that, you know. And But at the end of the day, we have to abound more and more, you know, and bound and being a good brother, you know, showing more charity, you know, abound in our diet, you know, because... You know, we're not supposed to be eating, you know, fast food every day, you know, like we were when we were, when we were in the world, you know, not eating processed foods, you know, eating more, you know, the Mediterranean diet, you know, as our forefathers ate, you know, as long as it's lawful, you know, that can, uh, that's in the dietary law, man, you know, fruits, vegetables, you know, abounding in uh, uh, reading, you know, uh, abounding in understanding, you know, and and about increasing your vocabulary, you know, and you know just this things to help us, you know, grow in the truth. You see, and um, that word abound. We uh, let me just see. Uh, it doesn't really go into it, but uh, let's let's look it up on Google. Bound definition. It says, um, exist in large numbers or amounts, have in large numbers or amounts, you know, so be plentiful. So in other words, you know, growth, you know, because, <clears throat> you know, we can't be stagnant in the truth, man. You know, just like an actual video, video game, you know, you can't stay on the first level forever. You got to eventually, you know, pass that first level, then you, you keep going on to the, to, uh, to the next level. You know, so that's the same thing in the truth, man. And let's just look up uh, that word abound. Let's, uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7. It says, Therefore, as you abound in everything, in faith, in utterance, in knowledge, and in all diligence, and in you and in your love to us, see that you abound in this grace also, right? So we have to abound in everything, man, in every aspect. You know, in the faith and utterance, you know, and uh speak, which is not it's not about having, you know, being eloquent in this truth. 
you know, but it's nothing wrong to abound your vocabulary and the truth, man, to, you know, use certain words, you know, because the scriptures talk about, you know, uh, comprehending much in, in, in little words, you know, so, you know, you don't want to, you want to abound if you're, if you know you're a brother that tends to be, uh, tends to be long-winded, you know, you can abound in that and, you know, making, uh, breaking down a precept in a short, timely manner. So that's growth as well. You see, it says in diligence, being more diligent in truth, you know, keeping up with the current events more, you know, watching for the prophecies, you know, being linked in with the Akin, being tuned in with the Akin on the, on the group chat. If brothers do have that, you know, uh, it says, and, and your love to us, see that you abound in this grace. Yeah, because we have to love one another. Because that's what Yahweh Shai said, you know, the whole world shall know you are the, you are the, my disciples if you love one another. You know, let's just get that. Um, you know, he said that, uh, let's see. I believe he said that in John. Let's see. The whole world. World shall know. You are my disciples. Yep. This is uh, St. John chapter 13 and verse 35. And it reads, well, let's, let's go on the um, blue letter. John 13 and 35. It says by this, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking. I saw verse 34. It says, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have loved one to another. Right, man. You know, so the whole world will know that we are the Lord's disciples once we start to show that brotherly love towards each other, which that's part of growth as well. You know, because remember, you know, uh, in the curses it says, thy eyes shall be evil towards your brethren. You know, so... When we come in the truth, that's supposed to be reversed, which we understand that, you know, the curse is still going to be on us while in the truth, too. But we have to make sure we're not following that worldly conduct as we were when we were once in the world. You know, being a nigga, being a a, 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 a thief, you know, covet, covetous, you know, we got to make sure we cast those evil spirits out, man. Those evil spirits was, was supposed to be cast out of us, you know, when we came in the truth, that spirit of the world, you see. And putting on a new man to love uh, each other, man. You know? So that's part of our bounding as well. Growing in the truth is, you know, having love for the brotherhood, man. You know, not being um, uh, a lone wolf, you know? And um, this is First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in Yahweh B'Hashem Moshai. Right. So, you know, we have to be unmovable and steadfast. You know, we got to be uh, solid in this truth, man. You know, solid as a rock. You see? You know, we can't, we have to be well-rooted in this truth, man. You know, no matter what uh, circumstances or obstacles come on our path, you know, we still have to do the will of Yahweh by Shimon Shah at the end of the day, which we understand that we, we don't we don't control our lots. We don't control our, you know, what we're doing in, in, the, in the faith. It's, it's Yahweh by Shimon Shah because it's good to say a man is going is of the Lord. But then with balance, the Lord did say uh, the Lord love for none, but him not dole for wisdom. So by us having wisdom, we have to discern where we're going off at, you know, because it's good to say that a righteous man um, know of when he slippeth, you know, so we have to make sure we had a discernment to know when we're going off, you know, and to, and to correct it, you see, because the Lord has given us wisdom to, to, to correct these things as, as well, you see, but at the end of the day, a man's going to the Lord, so everything is up to the Lord at the end of the day, and we don't control what we do in the truth, our, our faith, so, you know, we have to abound in the work of Yahweh by Shimon Shah because at the end of the day, our labor is not in vain. You see, all the labors that we do, the Lord is, is the Lord is, uh, is keeping account of it, you see. 
And let's go to uh, Proverbs 14, verse 23. It says, In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth on to punery. Yeah, so in all labor there is profit, man. You know, so we're laboring the Lord. You don't think that he's not going to give us that profit? Lord, we party elect to, to, to get set uh, to, to ultimately get salvation, you know, Lord willing. Because remember, the Lord said he's not unrighteous to forget your works, you know. Because the world will, uh, Esau, he'll forget about your works, man. He won't, he, he's not a faithful man. But our God, Yahweh Bashmoshah, he's, he's faithful. And as long as we're teaching the correct doctrine and being diligent, you know, and abounding, the Lord will reward us, man. But, uh, this is uh, uh, Hebrews 6 and 10. It says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous, forget your work and labor of love. Yeah, so Yahweh by Shimon Shah is not unrighteous, forget our works and labor of love that we have did, as I going to say, which he have showed towards the name. Yeah, so that's that's the Lord's not, the Lord will remember our deeds, man, you know, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister, right? You know, and minister means to serve. So we serve. To the saints, which are the Israelites, you know, with the elect, this truth, this meal, this supper, you know, starting with our apostle Elder Great Millstone, you know, serving a, uh, uh, this, this this meal, this word, man. You see, it says, verse 11, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Yes, yeah, so we have to be diligent, man, you know. You have to very, uh, another word for diligence is consistent, you know, so we have to be consistent no matter how we feel, you know, because it's going to be some days when you you don't want to do a lesson. You know, like Pastor R said one time, it's, it's going to be some days you don't want to go out to camp, you know, whatever day you go out. But with that fear of the Lord and diligent, you still do it, you know. You know, to me, it's the Lord putting his Holy Spirit on us to do it, you see, so we have to be diligent, man. It says, verse 12, that you be not slothful, you know, being lazy, you know. And that's another thing, too, that lazy demon can hop on on, on us, but we got to rebuke that demon and make sure we do the work, man, you know. And, you know, uh, making our videos, which is the Meyer Day Epistles, and going out on the Howards and Byways, you know, reading, studying, you know. It says, we're well, followers of them. Who through faith and patience inherit the promises and right? You know, who who's gonna inherit the promises? The Israelites begin on with the elect. You know, because the elect will be the followers, you know, and have that faith and patience to endure in the truth, to follow the land, whether so he to follow the land, whether so ever he goeth, which is Yahweh Shai. So the elect, they're gonna be fully locked in in truth, man. They're not gonna fall out, you know. So they're going to be well-rooted in the truth. And I'll just end off on that. Um, Colossians 2 and 7. Uh, outside verse 6, it says, As you have therefore received your house, shall my shack the Lord, so walk ye in him. Yeah, so, you know, we have received your house, shall the word, which he, he, which he is a word because he comes in the volume of the book. So we walk in him, walking in the manner of life. You know, uh, keeping the lost his commandments to the best of our ability. You know, rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, uh, being godly to the best of our ability in, in the sinful world. You see, so rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding there with thanksgiving. Yes, yeah, so we have to be well rooted and built up in Yahweh Shai and established in the faith, man. You know, and we have been taught by our apostle, it was a great millstone. So we got to continue to teach what was taught to us, you know, and abounding there with thanksgiving, man. So the scriptures. Promotes growing, man. You know, not being on, not being stagnant. You know, we have to go in all areas in faith. You know, and uh, our godly conduct. You know, our diet. You know, oh yeah, as well exercise too. You know, the spirit has been heavy in Israel about exercise. You know, because you know, really, you know, we're training. You know, we're training for Jacob's trouble, man. So we can have, you know, which we know the Lord can provide for us, but. You know, the Lord uh, said a prudent man, uh, a prudent man for see if to even hide himself. So it'll be wise. Just, you know, work out, just get get in shape because you, you never know. You may have to run and Jacob show you may have to hide, you may have to uh, scale walls. So it ain't in the wrong to work out to, you know, increase your strength so you can be 
well prepared for Jacob's trouble. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. So, so yeah, I can blow when I go to the fight. And, um, you know, until next time, Shalom.